good morning my dear students welcome to the discussion on the topic projection of solids under this we are discussing now problem and concept on solids axis inclined to one and parallel to another reference plane this is the sixth solved problem we are discussing under solids axis inclined to one and parallel to another reference plane concept under solids axis inclined to one and parallel to another reference plane concept we are discussing a problem on cylinder's axis inclined to hp and parallel to vp and cylinder is resting on point of the base on hp now we will enter into the problem the given problem is a cylinder of base diameter 50 mm and axis 70 mm rests on a point of its base circle on the hp draw its projections when the axis is inclined at 30 degrees to the hp and parallel to the vp now we'll extract the data from the problem the name of the object is cylinder and its base diameter is 50 mm axis height is 70 mm and axis inclination to the plane horizontal plane with how much value 30 degrees that is axis inclination with hp is 30 degrees and axis is parallel to vp that means we will get true length of the axis on the vertical plane axis inclination to the plane horizontal plane and its value is 30 degrees that is axis inclination with hp is 30 degrees axis is parallel to vp that means we will get true length of the axis on the vertical plane the true length of the axis is visible in the front view then the cylinder is resting on point of its base circle on the hp then with this given data we need to draw the projection of the cylinder basically the solution procedure for the given problem is divided into two stages first stage that is simple position of the cylinder and second stage is cylinder's axis inclined to hp and parallel to vp then we'll move towards how we are going to consider the initial position assumption of the cylinder in the problem it is mentioned that the cylinder is resting on a point of its base circle on hp and its axis inclined to hp and parallel to vp in this position the true shape of the base of the cylinder is not visible in the top view and also it is not visible in the front view but in projection of solids drawing the true shape of the base is the first step so in order to draw the true shape of the base of the cylinder what we need to do we need to tilt the cylinder in such a way that its axis is perpendicular to hp so that base is parallel to hp so that we will get base of the cylinder that is a circle is visible in the top view that is we are keeping the cylinder in such a way that its axis is perpendicular to hp and parallel to vp so that base is parallel to the hp if the base is parallel to the hp means the true shape of the base is visible in the top view drawing the true shape of the base is the first step in projection of solids after drawing the true shape of the base on one reference plane then we will draw another view on the other plane with the given axis height that is keep the axis perpendicular to the principal plane from which it is inclined here the cylinder's axis is inclined to hp so in the first position we have to keep the axis of the cylinder perpendicular to the hp draw true shape of the base on hp in top view because this is the first step in projection of solids draw its corresponding front view on vertical plane with the given axis height here the cylinder is resting on its base on hp with its axis perpendicular to hp and parallel to vp so first to draw top view of the 
cylinder that is a circle after drawing the top view of the cylinder then we will draw its front view drawing x y line then top view it is a circle after drawing the circle then we will draw front view the front view indicates the axis height of the cylinder this is top view and this is front view then in the second stage we will tilt the cylinder in such a way that it is going to rest on its point of the base circle on hp and its axis is tilted with an angle of theta degrees with the hp and it is parallel to the vp that is in the second stage we are tilting the cylinder such that the cylinder is going to rest on its point of its base circle on hp and its axis is inclined to hp and parallel to vp that means here we are going to redraw the first stage front view into the second stage front view with this given condition that is we are going to keep this point on xy line and keep this axis inclined with an angle of 30 degrees to the hp after drawing the second stage front view then we will draw projectors towards the horizontal plane from the second stage front view and draw its corresponding locus lines from the first stage top view and then locate the intersection points and join those points in a order which I will explain under detailed solution. This is the first stage solution and this one is the second stage solution. Now we will enter into the detailed solution related to the given problem. The detailed solution for the projection of cylinder when its axis is inclined to HP and parallel to VP is divided into two stages. Stage 1 that is simple position of the cylinder. Here the cylinder is assumed to be resting on its base on HP and axis parallel to VP. Stage 2. Cylinder's axis is inclined to HP and parallel to VP. Now we will enter into the detailed solution. In the initial position of the cylinder, the cylinder is resting on its base on HP and axis parallel to VP. So, the true image of the base of the cylinder is visible only in the top view. First we will draw top view of the cylinder that is a circle. After drawing the top view of the cylinder, then we will draw front view of the cylinder. So, as a first step, draw XY line. After drawing the XY line, then we will draw top view of the cylinder, that is a circle. Here, the diameter of the base of a cylinder is given as 50 mm. So, with 25 mm as a radius, draw top view of the cylinder, that is a circle. Then, divide the circle into even number of divisions. Here, we are dividing circle into 12 equal parts. Twenty five mm as a radius. Draw top view of the cylinder that is a circle. Then divide the circle into twelve equal parts. Dividing the top view of the cylinder that is circle into 12 equal parts over. Then we will name the division points on the circle.
and this point says the image of the generator A21 in top U. This point says the image of the generator B22 in top U. This point says the image of the generator C23 in top U. Similarly, we got remaining points for the images of the remaining generators in top U. Drawing top view of the cylinder is completed. Then we will draw corresponding front view of the cylinder. For that, draw projector through O. Towards the vertical plane. In the problem, the axis height is given as 70 mm. Then locate a point on this projector. Say O dash, its height is 70 mm. After that, draw projectors through division points on the top view of a circle towards the vertical plane for drawing the front view of the cylinder. The cylinder is resting on its base on HP. So, its image falls on the XY line in front view. This is the image of the bottom base of a cylinder. And it is the image of the top base of a cylinder it is extreme generator left side and this one is extreme generator right side here a dash 1 dash b dash 2 dash 3 dash c dash D dash, 4 dash, etc. are the generators of a cylinder in front view. Drawing top view and front view of the cylinder in simple position is completed. That is, stage 1 solution is completed. Then we will move towards second stage solution. In the case of second stage solution, what we have to do? We have to tilt the cylinder such that it is going to rest on its base point on HP say G on HP and axis is making an angle 30 degrees to the HP and axis is parallel to the VP. Here we are tilting the cylinder in right direction because it is going to rest on base point G on HP that's why that point to be on the XY line in the front view. So, G dash is on XY line in the front view. Because the axis is making an angle 30 degrees to the HP, then base is going to make an angle 60 degrees to the HP. Because base and axis are mutually perpendicular. That is, the base and axis are mutually perpendicular. So, at G dash with an angle of 60 degrees, dry inclined line. This is 90 minus theta, where theta is the inclination of the axis with HP. So, base inclination with HP is 90 minus theta. After drawing this line, then with compass, 
transfer this base image from here to there. G dash, A dash as a radius, G dash as a center, draw an arc. Name this point as A dash, then G dash, B dash as a radius. G dash as a center, draw an arc on this inclined line. Name this point as B dash, comma, I dash. Similarly, with the same radius, A dash as a center, draw an arc, that is G dash to B dash is equal to A dash to F dash. Then G dash to C dash as a radius. G dash as a center. C dash. K dash. Similarly, with A dash as a center with the same radius, draw an arc, name this point as E dash, comma, I dash. Then G dash, D dash as a radius. Name this point as D dash and J dash. After that, to A dash G dash baseline, the generators say A dash 1 dash, B dash 2 dash, C dash 3 dash, etc. are perpendicular and the length of the generators is 70 mm. So, draw perpendiculars passing through a dash, B dash, C dash, D dash, E dash, F dash, G dash with a length of 70 mm. Here the axis is making an angle 30 degrees to the HP and the cylinder is resting on its base point say G is on HP. That's why G dash is on XY line. After that, draw projectors through A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash, E dash, etc. 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash, etc towards the horizontal plane and draw locus lines from the corresponding points in the first stage top view. After that, locate the intersection points, say from A dash, this is the projector coming. Through A, this is the locus line coming. Both are meeting at this particular point and name this point as A1. From B dash, this is the projector coming. 
from B this is the locus line coming both are intersecting at this particular point similarly locate the remaining intersection points This is the direction of the top view. As a first step, draw all outside points with continuous lines. After drawing all outside points with continuous lines, then for the observer, this base is nearer, so it is fully visible. Whereas this base is nearer to the XY line, some portion of the base is invisible to the observer. So as a second step, draw all points with continuous lines for this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. Some portion of this base is not visible for the observer. That's why we will join all these points with dotted lines. This is O dash and this is also O dash. Here it is the image of the axis in top O. Axis is an imaginary line. Now we will see the pencil uses. Here the top U of the cylinder that is circle with H pencil two bases of the cylinder that is a dash to g dash one dash to seven dash and extreme generators of the cylinder with h pencil inside generators are with three h pencil dimensioning is with two h pencil similarly here also the two bases of the cylinder in second stage front view and two extreme generators of the cylinder in second stage front view with H pencil and this final top view also with H pencil whereas this inside generators of the cylinder in second stage front view with 3H pencil. Related to the dimensioning here the diameter of the base circle of a cylinder is 50 mm and axis height of the cylinder is 70 mm. Now we will see the overall summary of the solution. This is first stage solution. In this stage we assumed the cylinder is resting on its base on HP and axis parallel to VP. In the second stage we tilted the cylinder such that it is resting on its base point G on HP and axis is making an angle 30 degrees to the HP. With that we got final top view image like this. That's about the solution for the given problem. If you have any queries or doubts, you can write under comment section below this video. I will clarify them. Visit again for more videos on engineering graphics using the links provided under description of this video. Keep learning and knowledge sharing.
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग